friends we discussed the crochet the clouds and the ball of this baby coat mobile from our previous video today we are going to crochet the moon of this baby coat mobile first take your yarn and make a magic ring then chain one and work three single crochet stitches into the magic ring 1 2 and 3 now Drag this short end and close the magic ring. Okay, now work two single crochet stitches into the same first stitch. Mark our first stitch with the stitch marker. Okay, this is our first single crochet stitches stitch of our second round work another single crochet stitch into the same stitch Now work two single crochet stitches into the next stitch. We must work two stitches into the same stitch. Repeat this pattern till the end of our second round. You must have six stitches at the end of our second round. Okay, now count and see whether you have six stitches. Then work single crochet stitch to the next stitch and mark it because it is our first stitch of third round. Okay, again one single crochet stitch to the next stitch to one single crochet stitch. Now work two single crochet stitches to the next stitch. Work two single crochet stitches to the next same stitch. One and the second one also to the same stitch. Again work 2 single crochet stitches to the next stitch 2. 2 single crochet stitches to the same stitch. 1 and the second one also to the same stitch. 2. Okay then 1 single crochet stitch to the next stitch. 1. And one single crochet stitch to the next st 
स्टेज टू एट द एंड ऑफ आवर राउंड थ्री यू मस्ट हैव एट स्टिचेस काउंट एंड सी विद यू हैव एट स्टिचेस ओके नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट आवर फोर्थ राउंड फर्स्ट मेक अ डिक्रीज वन डिक्रीज एस दिस इज अवर फर्स्ट स्टिच ऑफ राउंड फो मार्क द स्टिच मार्क द स्टिच विथ द स्टिच मार्क then one single crochet into the next stitch one single crochet stitch then two single crochet stitches to the next stitch two single crochet stitches to the next same stitch one and the second one also to the same stitch two and again work two single crochet stitches to the next stitch two second one also to the same stitch then one single crochet stitch to the next stitch and finally work one decrease one decrease at the end of the round 4 we must have total number of 8 stitches must work one single crochet stitch into one stitch one remember to mark our first stitch one now work two single crochet stitches to the next stitch two single crochet stitches to the same stitch one and the second one also to the same stitch Okay then again work two single crochet stitches to the next stitch that means you must work two single crochet stitches into the same stitch one and the second one also to the same stitch okay now work three single crochet stitches into the next three stitches that means one single crochet stitch per one stitch one two and 
tree okay now we came to the end of our fifth row fifth round sorry you must have 10 stitches at the end of our fifth row now we are going to begin our sixth row first make a decrease make sure to mark that stitch too now single crochet to the next stitch one single crochet and again work one single crochet to the next stitch to okay now work two single crochet in, into the next stitch one and the second one also to the same stitch two again two single crochet stitches to the next stitch one and the second one also to the same stitch two okay now work one single crochet stitch to the next stitch and again one single crochet stitch to the next stitch two Okay, and now work decrease one decrease okay, this is the last stitch of our sixth row we must have 10 stitches at the end of our tenth row always count the total number of stitches before moving to the next round now we are going to work our seventh row first work four single crochet stitches to the next four stitches that means one single crochet stitch per one stitch two three and four now work two single crochet stitches to the next stitch one and the second one also to the same stitch again work two single crochet stitch to the next stitch one and the second one also to the same stitch two. then again work four single crochet stitches to the next four stitches one Okay, now we must have twelve 
stitches at the end of our seventh row now we are going to begin our eighth row first work a decrease then work 3 single crochet stitches into the next 3 stitches Then work two single crochet stitches into the same stitch. One and the second one also to the same stitch. Again work two single crochet stitches into the same stitch one and the second one also to the same stitch two then work three single crochet stitches into the next three stitches one Okay, then work one decrease, one decrease. This is the last stitch of our eighth round. We must have 12 stitches at the end of our eighth round. Okay, now we are going to move our ninth row. Okay. First work 5 single crochet stitches into the next 5 stitches that means 1 single crochet stitch into 1 stitch. Mark the first stitch. single crochet stitches into the next stitch one and the second one also to the same stitch two okay again work two single crochet stitches into the next stitch two one and the second one also to the same stitch two then work five single crochet stitches into the next five stitches one single crochet stitch per one stitch one second one to the next two three four 
five now we must have 14 stitches at the end of our ninth row okay now we are going to work our 10th row first work a decrease one decrease and mark that because it is our first stitch of our 10th row Then work 4 single crochet stitches into the next 4 stitches. 1 that means 1 single crochet stitch per 1 stitch. 1 second one to the next. 2 third one to the next. 3 4 Now work 2 single crochet stitches to the next same stitch. 1 and the second one also to the same stitch. 2. Again work 2 single crochet stitches to the same stitch. 1 and the second one also to the same stitch. 2. Okay, now work 4 single crochet stitches to the next 4 stitches that means 1 stitch per 1 single crochet stitch per 1 stitch 1 2 third one to the next and 4 now Work a decrease, one decrease, this is the last stitch of our 10th row, we must have 14 stitches at the end of our 10th row, ok, now we are going to begin our 11th row. First make 6 single crochet stitches into the next 6 stitches that means 1 stitch per 1 single crochet stitch per 1 stitch mark our first stitch of the round as usual ok this is our first stitch 1 2 Now work two single crochet stitches into the next two stitch next stitch same stitch we work one the second one also to the same stitch now work again two single crochet stitches to the next stitch one and the second one also to the same stitch now work six single crochet stitches into the next six stitches one We must have 16 stitches at the end of our 11th 
row now we are going to fill our work with stuff in i am using fiber fill fill it like this now we are going to begin our 12th row first make a decrease mark it because it is the our first stitch of 12th round okay now work five single crochet stitches into the next five stitches that means one single crochet stitch per one stitch one two three four five then work two single crochet stitches into the next stitch one and the second one also to the same stitch two again work two single crochet stitches into the next stitch that means again two stitches to the same stitch now again work five single crochet stitches into the next five stitches one second one to the next two three four now work one decrease at the end of our 12th row we must have 14 stitches now we are going to begin our 13th row first make a decrease mark it with the stitch marker now work five single crochet stitches into the next five stitches one two three five now work two single crochet stitches into the same stitch one and the second one also to the same stitch two again work two single crochet stitches into the next same stitch one and the second one also to the same stitch now work five single crochet stitches into the next five stitches one two three next work one decrease this is the last stitch of our 13th round we must have total number of 16 stitches at the end of our 13th round now we are going to begin our 14th round first 
is mark it with the stitch marker then work to a single crochet stitches one second one to the next two three We must have total number of 14 stitches at the end of our 14th row. Okay, now we are going to begin our 15th row. First, work a decrease. Mark it with the stitch marker. single crochet stitches into the next four stitches one two three four then work two single crochet stitches into the next stitch one and the second one also to the same stitch two again work two single crochet stitches into the same stitch one and the second one also to the same stitch okay now work four single crochet stitches into the next four stitches one two three four now work one decrease We must have 14 stitches at the end of our 15th row. Now again we are going to fill our work with 5 fill. After filling it we are going to start our 16th row. First work a decrease. Mark it with the stitch marker. Then work 
10 single crochet stitches into the next 10 stitches that means one single crochet stitch per one stitch one two three crochet stitches at the end of our 16th row now we are going to begin our 17th row first make a decrease stitch marker next work three single crochet stitches into the next three stitches one single crochet stitches into the next same stitch one and the second one also to the same stitch two again work two single crochet stitches into the same stitch next work three single crochet stitches into into the next three stitches we worked one and this is the second one and three then work one decrease at the end of our 17th row we must have 12 stitches now we are going to begin our 18th round First, make a decrease. Mark it with the stitch marker. Then work 8 single crochet stitches to the next 8 stitches that means 1 single crochet stitch per 1 stitch 1 2 3 
mark 1 degrees we must have total number of 10 stitches now we are going to fill fill our moon again with fiber fill like this okay now we are going to begin our 19th round first make a decrease mark it then work one single crochet to the next stitch again work one single crochet stitch into the next stitch to okay now work two single crochet stitches to the next same stitch one and the second one also to the same stitch two again work two single crochet stitches into the next stitch same stitch one and the second one also to the same stitch two now work one single crochet stitch to the next stitch again one single crochet stitch to the next and finally one decrease work one decrease at the end of our 19th round 2 we must have 10 stitches count and see whether you have 10 stitches at the end of our 19th round okay now we are going to begin our 20th round first make a decrease mark it with the stitch marker then work 6 single crochet stitches into the next 6 stitches that means 1 single crochet stitch per 1 stitch 1 second one to the next Six. Now work one decrease. We must have total number of eight stitches at the end of our twentieth round. 
again we must fill this with our fiber fill or any stuffing material Now we are going to work our 21st round. First make a decrease. Mark it with this stitch marker. Then work one single crochet stitch to the next stitch now work two single crochet stitches to the next stitch one and the second one also to the same stitch Again work 2 single crochet stitches to the next stitch 2. One and the second one also to the same stitch. Two. Then work 1 single crochet stitch to the next stitch. Finally work one decrease. At the end of our 21st round 2 we must have total number of 8 stitches. Okay, now we are going to begin our 22nd round. First, make a decrease. Mark that with the stitch marker. Now work four single crochet stitches into the next four stitches. Now work a decrease. Then 
we must have total number of 6 stitches at the end of our 22nd round. Now we are going to begin our 23rd round. First make a decrease. We must work this round carefully because we have to work in a limited space therefore we must be patient and be careful mark that stitch with the stitch marker Now work two single crochet stitches to the next same stitch. One and the second one also to the same stitch. Two. Again work two single crochet stitches to the next same stitch. second one also to the same stitch okay now work a decrease We must have total number of 6 stitches at the end of this round too. Now again fill this moon with fiber fill. This is our last filling. Now we are going to work our last round. We must work minimum number of 1 decrease and maximum number of 3 decrease in this round. That means if you can work 3 decrease that is better but if you can't work 3 decrease but if you can work two degrees you can work two degrees and if you can work only one degrees you can work only one degrees that is better if you can work three decreases but it is up to the size of your yarn and the hoop i worked one degrees i am trying to work another degrees but i think will be impossible we will see okay. I think I can't work the second decrease therefore I end it, it with the just single crochet stitch and drag the yarn and cut it leave in a part two you okay now insert your needle into the opposite stitch of your yarn and drag the yarn through that stitch okay now we are going to cut our yarn Cut 
part the excess part okay now make the shape with your hand like this this is the end of our second part of making this beautiful baby coat mobile we'll meet again with our last part or third part of making this baby coat mobile that will be the last part of this tutorial series till then have a nice day